is up. Welcome back. Do you like to do a build it or make it? So do we. And we have new videos each week, every Tuesday and Friday. And this week, we're continuing our quick and easy laser projects using Canva. Last week, we showed you how to make door corners in Canva using Canva and Lightburn. This week, we're going to continue that series and we're going to make ornaments. And we're going to show you how you can make your own custom ornaments using Canva and Lightburn. Step one, we're gonna gather all of our supplies. We just needed some eighth inch Baltic birch and some stains. That is it. <laughs> Step two, we're gonna create our design. So we'll meet you over in Canva. All right, we're gonna start in Canva. Do not sleep on Canva. It is a super powerful tool. It's a great place to start like any design. We're gonna start with just a poster. We'll do a landscape. All right, we're gonna make a Christmas ornament, so we're gonna start with a circle. Just give me a shape, a circle. Now we're gonna get rid of the fill, and we're gonna give it a stroke. Kind of weighty stroke. Let's give it a pretty weighty stroke. All right, back to elements. We'll look for some Christmas trees or some pine trees. Graphics. Oh, those are kind of cool, but no, they won't work to control Z. Um, that's a good little tree. I'll take this tree. I'll shrink them down a little bit. Oh wait, what happened in my circle? You did, I don't know what happened. All right, I looked back and it was pink as well. All right, we'll put him in here. We're gonna copy, paste, control C, control V. Make him a little bigger. Paste, we'll throw another one in here. And maybe one more, just to kinda. create a tiny forest. All right, you know what this needs? This needs a Santa Claus. Santa. Santa sleigh. Graphics. What about that guy? A little too, a little too tiny, huh? I think it's very small, uh-huh. I don't need all of the reindeer. I just need like <laughs> three. Ooh, look at this guy. That one's good. All right, this one's a good one. Let me throw him up in here. Now, is he a photo? The tricky part of this is. No. Yeah. Let's say edit photo. Maybe. We'll grab another. You can always image trace him. Another Santa just in case. Yeah, we could always image. Ooh, I really like this guy. And I know that's a black and white. Might be a little thin though. And we always have just the one deer. Yeah, maybe that's easier. Yeah. All right, you know what I need now? I need a little Merry Christmas. Now, I like this big classic guy right here. He's like a... Seems very official. This is like official Christmas right it there. It does look official Christmas. Right. But we might want something just a little bit cuter. What about that go. one? That looks very official Christmas. Is the tree gonna mess things up? What one? Right under those sweaters right there. You see that one? This guy? Mm-hmm. Hmm. I don't think so. I think that tree is technically not connected. Alright. So it looks like I have all my elements. Right? So yeah. let's download this. We're gonna go download as an SVG. One of the great perks of being a pro 
on Canva or having a pro account, you can be a pro, but you don't have a pro account, <laughs> is that you can download these as an SVG and then you're able to import them right into like Lightburn and then you can finish manipulating them. Downloads, I think this is the one I just did. Ooh, look at all my elements. All right, let's start making some things. I can just kind of group all these guys together. So the stroke didn't come in on your circle. Nope, it That's didn't. That's interesting, all right. So here's what we'll do. We'll just put a stroke on this guy anyway, using this uh, outline or offset stroke. Now right now everything's pretty big. So I'm gonna grab the one I just made, the outline, and the inside one, and we're gonna go uh, Boolean subtract. That creates one whole thing here. All right, and then we can uh, grab these trees. Uh, I'm gonna make a couple of copies of this guy. Copy paste. Put them over here. Unite these trees. Unite. Now we'll ungroup. Ungroup. I'm going to grab this bottom piece. Now we'll group all these again. Uh, what kind of Santa do you think will work? My original Santa really didn't come in. Let's try to give him an image trace. Trace image. Did it do anything? No. Yeah, ungroup it. No, didn't trace it. Let's try again. Trace. I think I really gotta bring this threshold down. Oh, there you there go. You Santa's dead to me. <laughs> the Santa You're out of here, out. Santa. Get out of here, Santa. And do we want the one reindeer, Santa? Yeah, I mean, I think the others look a little thin. They're going to get real thin when you well, cut could, them on the laser. I can grab this guy, and then I can give him, give him, give him an offset. Just a thin offset. Mm -hmm. Okay. There, now I got him, but he's just a little bit beefier. Okay, all right. What do you think? I right, try it again. There you go. Think he's beefy enough now? It's this one down here, this is the beefy guy. Yeah, his antlers start, the antlers look a little weird now. Like you see how they lose their antler. They're antler-esque. I mean, works. it's gonna be real. We'll see what it looks like. You can take the center out of that one between the first, is, yeah, that, that piece oh, there. Yeah, you're gonna ungroup it. Grab that little guy. Delete. Group it again. Alright, get out of here, one, one reindeer Santa. Yeah. I mean, this antlers are still. They're not great, but they're not. I think well, it's gonna be small. Yeah, it's gonna be very small. Now. Okay, yeah. I hear you. I'm shrinking them in here now. I think those little antlers that, that small will just be a mess anyway, so this yeah. is better. Try to get the antler and nose to touch. All right, let's bring. 
bring this guy back over. I'm gonna give this a copy and paste. I just grab both circles. I'm gonna make sure they're aligned. Alright, the Santa's touching in a couple of pieces. Let's move this guy out of the way so I can see my Santa. And unite. Whoa, where'd he go? I know what happened. I need to grab him, ungroup him, grab him again with the circle. Weld off. Do you need to weld Santa first and then... Oh no, you can't because of the sleigh. I see. Oh, there he goes. Now I'll group it all again. Group. All right, now we got two layers going. There's trees, and then there's that layer. But now I want to put Merry Christmas somewhere. So we can get rid of all these other Santa Clauses. Get out of here. I'll see you on the 25th. <laughs> Go on now, get. All right. <clears throat> let's uh let's make some snow. Make some snow, a little snow hill. A little snow hill. I'm not seeing snow. This is like a little snow hill camp. Bring it in. See that doesn't look like a little snow hill to you? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Let's uh, unite it and then we'll see. Ooh. Unite. Unite. Wait, 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 wait. How'd you get that to unite? Instead of do it using the weld all, right? Uh huh. I just went ahead and Boolean union shapes union two A and shapes. B. Okay. Yeah. And then I'll do it to this guy again. And now I will ungroup. Ungroup. We'll get rid of that cutout. Right? That either looks like a little snow hill or a butt. It does. That's exactly what I thought. Group it. <laughs> Alright, so there's my little snow hill. So here's all my pieces so far. Let's go ahead and center them all. So I got the trees back there. And I have the Santa back there, and then I have some snow up here. But you think it look, the snow is looking like a little, like a little butt, right? So let's see if what we could do. We're gonna grab that, and then we're gonna take these nodes and we'll edit them down a little bit. Oop! I'm gonna have to ungroup. Uh, maybe because ungroup. the right and left sides point down so much, maybe bring them up a little bit. Well, let's get rid of this guy. I'm gonna hover over it and hit D. It kinda makes it look less like a butt. <laughs> D, D, D. And I'm gonna bring him down. So instead of pointing down, should it curve up a little or at least go straight across? What? This guy? The ends. Where they connect to the round outline? Yeah. Right there. Right. Like it's like too far down, don't you think? This guy? Yeah. D. Bring this out. Snowy enough. That 
Yes, that's better. Alright, so we'll grab our sand thing and get him out of the way. Grab both of these pieces and group them again. Now, did you want this Christmas? Right here, this guy? Um, yeah, I mean, that was my vote, but whatever will fit, work, work. Alright, what do you think? Right mm -hmm. in there? Yeah. Alright. So we'll go ahead and let's make sure that's centered. Uh -oh. <laughs> Let's group all these pieces first. Now we'll make sure it's centered. All right. So now I have my three pieces. Let's get rid of these guys. And this guy. We'll line these up. All right. How tall are they? Well, this is in millimeters. Settings. We're going to want inches, millimeters, and seconds. There. These are eight inches tall. <laughs> They're a little big, huh? Yeah. What are we going to make them maybe Ooh. four? Four inches tall? Mm hmm. Four. All right. Oh, all right. whoops. That must have not been grouped. And you did what? Control G to group? Yeah, Control G to group. Do these need a little string hanger? Do I need a yes. little thing at the top? Yes. Right, let's make a little thing at the top. Then. Circle, another circle. in that circle. Now, right now, those two circles are sitting on top of each other. Right. And what you just did was... Is I did a Boolean subtract, and I actually subtracted the little circle from the big circle to create a donut. Let's make sure I'm going to put this in the same place on each of them. I'm going to take all of them. And again, I'm going to make sure they're all aligned. We'll put this guy right up top. And we'll align center. Now for this guy, I'm going to go Control D, Control D. Now I should have made two copies. Let's see. One. And that's duplicate. Yeah. Duplicate. There you go. I got my two copies. So I'll grab one of the circles and one of the circles. We'll move it over here. I'll grab one of the circles and one of the circles and we'll move it over here. And then we're gonna merge. Oop, I better ungroup it. Ungroup. Let's make sure I got this one. While this is there, I'm going to keep this one black, double zeros, but I'm going to grab this thing that's sitting in, I'm going to make it red, so I'm going to use this for cut. I'm going to grab both of these, and we'll both be cuts, so now I think we're ready to go. I, I group these just to make sure they don't move again. All right, what do you think? I got three layers with some engraving and some cutting. I like it. All right. Perfect. Step three, we're gonna make all of our cuts. I'm gonna bring this eighth inch Baltic birch over to the X-Tool P2, and we're gonna cut it out. All right, we're all ready to cut and engrave. So my engraving is 175 
millimeters per second and my power is 20 for my engraving. I'm going to use fill. And then for my cut, I'm going to use 20 millimeters per second, 100% power. We'll make sure everything's highlighted and we'll hit start. Step four. We're gonna paint or stain. Actually, we're gonna stain. We're staining all of these little pieces. So we're gonna use three different color stains. We're gonna go light to dark. So light, the lightest stain is gonna be on the bottom and the medium stain is in the middle and then the darkest stain is gonna be on top. Okay, so I got the lightest one? Yes. All right. Assembly. We're just going to use this star bond thick and glue all of our little layers together. I think Take I'm just going to put glue on this middle layer. Step six profit. So this was a good chunk of change. I mean, we, we ended up using some scrap wood. We didn't even use like full board. Even if I did, it was maybe 50 cents in wood. And it looks like you, they can go for like 15 bucks, yeah. what did you say? Yeah, and the more custom they are and specific, so this one's kind of a generic. generic Christmas ornament. But if you can make an ornament that's custom to your area, with maybe like landmarks or um, local teams or just different things that are custom to your area, your state shape, your city shape, those things go for even more because they're more of a, an emotional purchase. So I think you can get anywhere from 15 to $20 for these. Yeah, those aren't bad. So 50 cents in wood, 11 minute cut time and engrave time. You can get 15 to 20 bucks for it. I think that's a great one. It's a good what? It's a good chunk of change. <laughs> <laughs> Big thanks to all of our patrons. We love you guys. And if you're not going to join us for the patron after show, we will see you next week where we'll do it, build it, and make it again.